All right, guys, Connor here with your workout for Saturday. Let's start with the question of the day. Hold on, sorry, the truck. What is a workout you never want to do again? I would say most of the open workouts. I have no interest in repeating. Warm up, three to four rounds, 30 seconds of high knees, 20 seconds in the bottom of an overhead squat, and then 10 alternating leg V-ups. So let's look at these movements. The overhead, or sorry, no, we start with the high knees. So the high knees, what we're looking to do is just warm up for the run. So knee up towards the chest. And then I want to be nice and soft on my feet. I'm going to grab a bar. Sitting in the bottom of an overhead squat. Don't need anything heavy. You can grab a PVC, something light. What we want to focus on is shoulder mechanics. So when the bar is overhead, thinking about externally rotating in the shoulder, pushing it up so it's directly over the crown of my head, and then squat mechanics. When I sit down into the bottom, right, I want to keep the knees out, weight balanced throughout my feet, chest up tall, and just pause as low as I can for 20 seconds, making sure those mechanics look tight. And then alternating leg V-ups. Starting a hollow one leg at a time comes up to meet in the middle. I could scale that back by bending at the knee. All right, let's take a look at the workout for the day. Every five minutes, you're going to start a new round and you're going to do it seven times. So you'll start with a 400 meter run, then you'll do 10 overhead squats, and then 10 burpees over the bar. All right, so the run ideally is taking about two minutes, maybe less. But if you're going to take more than, I would say like two and a half minutes, that's about the threshold. We want to cut the, the distance down. Um, if that's the case, so that we're not eating up too much time because we do want some rest before the next round. Then the overhead squats, light to moderate, something that you can do 10 in a row for seven rounds. It does add up, so keep that in mind. Right? It shouldn't feel too tough in the beginning. And then the burpees, if the burpees are going to take longer than, uh, I would say like 45 seconds or so, give or take, depending on how fast you do the other exercises. Um, then you might want to think about adjusting the number again so that we get some rest before the next round. So let's look at these movements. The overhead squat you can do with barbell, kettlebell, dumbbell. Um, I'll grab a dumbbell and show you what a single arm variation would look like. So if you are doing a single arm variation, you're going to get it overhead, locked out, and then squat all the way down, stand up to full extension, making sure that you're keeping that elbow locked out, good strong shoulder position, knees out on the squat, chest up tall, and then I would just switch arms every round. And then what you would do after you finish the 10 squats is just put the dumbbell on the ground and you can do your burpees over your dumbbell. So chest and thighs hit the ground, two foot takeoff, two foot landing to the other side. So that's your workout for Saturday. If you guys are on social media, use the hashtag SCF Virtual and stay safe and healthy.